Hey, it's Claire here, and today I'll be showing you ways on how to prevent lag on a Minecraft Java server. One of the many ways you can improve performance on your Java server is by changing the server type to paper. Paper is generally considered to be more performant in comparison to other Minecraft types due to further optimizations found in the server code. Paper also includes timings, enabling you to find out what's slowing down your server so you can tackle it and increase performance. Another bonus is that it can still run most Bucket and Spigot plugins as well. We'll go over that in more detail later in this video, but to install paper on your server, you need to head to server.pro and go into your server control panel. At the dashboard, head into your servers and then configuration. There you just have to press on the type section and select paper. Then you can save and restart the server so the changes actually take effect. Another way you can reduce lag on your server is by pre-generating your world. Pre-generating your world means that your world is generated with a plugin, so your server doesn't experience immense lag when players are exploring. It's highly recommended you follow this step as this is one of the leading causes for server lag, even if you have paper installed. In order to do this, you'll need to have this plugin installed. As always, we'll leave that link in the description. When you're on the download page, all you have to do is click the download now button. That should instantly download the plugin file. When the download is finished, you need to head to your server. Then click on the files tab and then open up the plugins folder. All you have to do here is drag the plugin you just downloaded and that's it, the plugin's installed. Before proceeding, make sure to restart the server for the necessary files to be generated. When that's done, copy the host name. Launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. Once that's done, head into your server and when it's generated, it means we can now start pre-generating the world using commands. The first thing you should be doing is setting a world border. A world border is important because it can prevent super large file sizes and lag on your server. To get a world border set up, you should type in the command slash world border set and then the radius you want it to be. I'll be setting it to a thousand as an example for this video. The radius number you set it to is the part of the world that is going to be pre-generated. To pre-generate that border, you're going to want to use the command slash fcp fill vanilla and then set a chunk buffer. The chunk buffer is how many chunks outside your world border you want to have pre-generated. We recommend doing something between 5 to 10. That's so if players are on the edge of the world, they're not generating chunks outside of it and causing lag. After that, you want to type in the name of your world. Since our world is just called world, I'll type that in and press enter for the pre-generation to start. If at any point you want to see how much of the world is left to generate, you can use the command slash fcp pending, and it'll say generating chunks and the percentage of how many have been generated. During this generation process, you shouldn't be playing, so make sure you set aside some time to do this before letting other players on the server. After a while, the chunk generation process will complete. If you then go on your server and walk around, you'll see that lag is minimal, since the chunks set have already been generated. After installing paper onto your server, you can take further steps in reducing lag by optimizing features in the configuration files. If you don't know which features to tweak to increase performance correctly, we recommend you follow the settings from this Pigot post. The link to this post will be in the description, all you have to do is scroll down and look through as there's a variety of options. We recommend looking for the bucket.yml file, the spigot file, and the server.properties file. After you've made all the configurations you desire, ensure you press save file in a config file to confirm all the changes. As mentioned before, paper includes timings, a feature that enables you to find out exactly what's slowing down your server. If you're still having performance issues after the last few steps, we're not sure exactly what the problem is, timings reports are the perfect option. What you need to do in this step is head into your server and type in slash timings on. This will start the analyzing of your server. We recommend leaving it on for about three minutes. After a while, you should then enter the command slash timing space for the report to be generated. To view it, you should click the link that appears and press yes. That'll open up a page on your server detailing all kinds of info about your server. If you have a over the graph you can see specific information like TPS, TPS loss, chunks and more. When I've done that, I can scroll down and see that at the top, most of the server tick issues were to do with full server tick. If you have similar issues, you can open up the drop down list and target what exactly is slowing down your server. For example, if it says tile entities or entities, there are plugins you can download to improve performance. From now on, paper is going to include Spark on newer versions, so for future versions, we recommend using Spark reports instead. If you're not sure on how to use them, we've actually made a video on it before, so we'll leave a link to that in the description. There are some plugins you can install in a server that can help clean up performance and get TPS up. If you have an issue with entities causing lag, such as cows and pigs, there's a plugin you can download to fix that. That's the Stack Mob plugin. We'll leave that link in the description. Basically, the Stack Mob plugin enhances server performance by stacking and merging entities. Your animal pens will go from looking like this to looking like this. However, if you're still having issues, you may benefit from installing the Clear Lag plugin. Clear Lag is designed to reduce lag by clearing out mobs every five minutes, but it also has a lot of other features. If you're having problems with other aspects causing lag on 
on your server, it's guaranteed there is a plugin that can assist in fixing it. For example, if you're experiencing lag due to automatic farms, you can download the auto farm plugin. The auto farm plugin lets you run through fields and break tens of crops at once. Its features are configurable too, so you can tweak it to your liking. Hopefully though, if you follow all the steps showcased in this video, you'll be able to reduce lag on your server drastically. I hope I was able to assist you in setting up your server. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment down below or contact our support. Bye guys!